Well, hello there, it's Wayne Robson with Nuke with 3D Artists. Right, uh, there's a load of different ways of doing a clean plate, uh, which you will need from time to time. This is the only footage I could find, which is in 720p, and it's in 2010. It's uh, basically uh, just me integrating a model into a scene, but what we're going to try and do is remove me from the shot completely. Now, as you'll notice, if I just go on full screen here, we have a shadow and we have me. There's a bit of a nasty, horrible blue colour grade on this. I've got no idea why. Probably an attempt to integrate the blue bastard here. Um, it was rather a long time ago. So, um, in this case, we're going to try something really simple. The most simple way of doing a clean plate. Now, first of all, uh, what I'm going to need is not roto paints. I need a couple of roto nodes. Now, first thing we're going to do is work out where the optimum place is on this and I'm guessing about 180 yes now if I go to 180 here all right first thing I'm going to do is put a frame hold on there all right so this one well now if we go 180 boom so what we need to do is to keep all of this except anything with shadows all right so I'm going to create this here and we're going to do a very rough roto like that. All right. Now once I've done that, I will then put a pre-mold on it. So now if we look at it, the pre-mold will give us just what's in the author. He says. Okay, it works. So Right now, we have our roto coming after our frame hold, and it's not doing anything I asked it to do, so we'll have to do it again. Right, so I've got my thing, but I might as well start in this corner. We'll ignore the shadows for the moment. We can always expand this if we need to. I'll just quickly do a thing like that. Boom, All right? Now, we go back there, and you can see we've cut me out of that. So we do another frame hold over here, and this time we need another frame, all right? So I'm guessing if I want some of this to be clean, in fact, I'm just gonna redo this a little bit, all right? I'm gonna need frame zero, all right? Which is great, because that allows us to patch this bit in here. So I'm going to do with my roto node, and then, I'll just make sure this one's got the wrong thing on, so obviously I did it with the wrong node before. Now I'm going to add a fair old whack here, bigger than I need, just because I believe in making life easy for myself. So on this side, we have that, all right? With an alpha channel. On this side, we have that with an alpha channel. Now we might have to bring that down as you can see, all right? So if I just extend this down like that, we check there's nothing in there that we don't want. And it's this easy. In fact, I don't even need to do that. I just need to go merge. You can see I've got a few test runs going there. I'll never, I'll never make a secret of that. I always do a test run or something. You don't really want to do a massive cock up in the middle of the video. So there you go. And we now have a completely clean crate for the whole range. So if I just swap between that and that, and I'll just do a wipe like this, all right? So if I go across the range, you can see the shadow there on that side. It's clean, it's not clean. So you know, right from the beginning, I can wipe myself right out, all right? Now we do have that bit of shadow over there. So if I'm in any way concerned about that, and check it's not there. So there you go, it's as simple as that. It's a, that's very, very simple. There are all sorts of automated ways of also doing this. Um, if I think there's enough interest, uh, I'll cover it, but it's really sort of outside the range of these videos. Um, I've got to work with what assets I have available. As I've explained before, I don't have uh, a time during the week to spend um, doing a lot of this, you know, the new assets. As, as I said, this is something I shot in my back street many years ago when I lived at a different house in a place called Leadgate in 2010. So this is seven-year-old footage that we're using here. Um, but I hope it's useful to some of you because if the good thing about that is sometimes you might have to wait for 
the comp department to give you a clean plate and they're normally pretty hammered in production. So this way you can give yourself a rough clean plate straight away without having to worry. And it gives you something that if you've got, got to do a slap comp uh, to put into dailies, then you've, you've just got your, your backside covered and it can look halfway decent. So if we add something to composite over the top of this with some shadows, we'd even add a bit of a very mild color grade, boom, done. And then you've got more chance of getting it approved if it looks like that, than if it's just, you know, the model in no background, the model with all sorts of crap going in the background, right? Simple as that. So it's a very simple one, this one, but it might be useful to some of you. I'm Wayne Robson. Bye-bye.